Who can be who can be gay and still be straight at the same time? You gay. <laughs> Which one of the sexes would y'all say it's more masculine or feminine to you know be able to be bisexual basically? Well, ask it one more time. If Let me just prompt. Basically, can I got like like which one like basically I'm saying it's super feminine to to do one or the other. Like or it's it's super feminine or it's super masculine to be bisexual. Which one is it is it is it super masculine or is it super feminine to be bisexual? I feel I feel I feel like it's <laughs> I feel like it's more feminine, but then again, you were saying like the ratios and like the efficiency or whatever. Yeah. I guess it's more feminine. Yeah. yeah. What do you think? Um, you know, EDM, I'm with the plur and I'm, I'm still going to stick with the narrative I've gone with about equality. And I, I see how, I feel like that's a lot to put on, you know, I feel like lesbians, women that are bisexual are pretty sexualized and it's more of like a cute thing. Like, oh, she's bi. So like, it's OK. It's OK for guys to be bi, too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, if you like if your boyfriend came out right now, you know, and he was like, hey, just so you know, babe, like I like guys like you would totally be OK with it. I mean, we are we have had a conversation that we are in a monogamous relationship. So as long as, you know, it's just us and we are continuing to be in a monogamous relationship, then I don't judge him for his preferences. As long as there's no cheating or like unfaithfulness going on, then I would want him to do. The same. You want to get married, right? Um, maybe one day. Maybe one day if it like aligns and that feels right, then. Yeah, that'd be nice. I mean, it's a piece of paper. It really doesn't matter, but I'm, yeah, I'd be nice. So, like, but, but like, this guy for, like, the long term, say, like, y'all dated, or y'all date for, like, another, like, three, four years, and um, you you do want to get married. Like, you're at this point where you're just like, oh, I really love you. Like, I really want to do this. Mm -hmm. Um, And he says, you know what, babe, I just, I really want to get married, but I'm going to be honest with you about my past. I'm not going to sit there and lie about, like, I've lied for three years about this kind of, or, or hid it from you, but I'm not going to do this anymore. To be honest, when I was 21 years old, I was a gay porn star, and I, I slept with up well over 200 men, the gang bangs, I did all of it. Um, it's not who I am anymore, though. This this was a decade, over a decade ago, babe. It's not me anymore, you know? Um, I just wanted to get that off my chest. Would that cause any type of distrust with you before the marriage, or would you not care at all? I mean, I think it's in the past. I don't think... It's not I, a big I, deal. I don't, it doesn't really like trigger anything in me or like put me in like a fight or flight or like ick kind of mode. I yeah, it doesn't know. give I you the like, ick. I feel like everyone has a past and it's pretty outlandish. Like it's a pretty, it's a stretch. It's a stretch. That'd be like, I guess, worst case scenario. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that was the whole point of the but, exercise. I mean, like who they are today is like who I choose. You know, like I don't think you should date for potential or date someone for their past or like, Whenever judgment and all of that comes into play, like it's not that's that's not unconditional love. Hmm, Wait, unconditional so love. let me ask you a question. Um, so like the scenario he used, like if they told you that, you'd just be like, "Well, thanks for telling me." I would have some questions. I would definitely have some questions I would want to ask, but but like what? Like curious. that's what I'm curious about. Like like what kind of questions? Did it pay well? Like what? I don't know. I just more like kind of like fun questions, but or like, are you still in touch with these men? Like, is why this, would you care if they're still in touch with them? Is this something that I should be concerned about? Is this relevant? But why would you have to be concerned about it if it's not? It's just gay. It's not a big deal. No, like I would ask, like, is this something that you feel like I should be concerned about? Is this going to repeat itself? Or? And he's like, yeah, babe. I mean, I have urges, but I mean, it's just I'm not gonna do it. I have urges, but I'm not going to do it, I promise. I would say, like, I don't want to hold you back from exploring your full potential and what you want to do. So if, if not being with me, if this doesn't align with you anymore. No, then... no, no. He wants to be with you, though. He just has urges to, like, I, like he, I mean, he used to f*** men. Like, he, like, he has, like, yeah, he has urges to fuck guys. Like, is that okay or not? Like, yes, yes, babe. I love you. I want to be only with you. But, yeah, I'm going to be honest with you, babe. I did, and I used to, I, I still do kind of have urges. I'm not going to do it anymore. I promise. I'm not going to do it anymore. But I do have urges, man. I love, I love some big dick. I think I would just be like, I mean, I, I want to be with someone that like, I want to be chosen, you know, like. I you are chosen. Like, He's not choosing the guys. You are chosen. Um, I 
Oh, no, that's a hard one. Like urges. We all have urges. Everybody has urges to do the great. We have intrusive thoughts like the. Crazy. Yeah. So it's no big deal. You should still it should be no big deal then. Is the, If it's not acted on, I really don't think the urges matter. Okay. I don't. Okay. I would be like, hey, I think you should think about this and think about what you really want. But why does he need to do that? I know he wants to marry you. He just told you he wants to marry you. He's just being honest with you before the marriage because it's the right thing to be honest about stuff. But no, but no he, he really does love you. I'm more concerned about this inner turbulence that he's experiencing, like these urges that he's fighting on a daily basis. I'm like, are you okay? Like what's, you know, 